Greetings and welcome, fellow horsemen, to another episode of Let's Play Darksiders War Mastered Edition. Right. Farewell. Thank you, Volkarim. Back to the backtracking and all the good stuff. Right, so first off, I think it's time to finally complete the Abyssal Armor. Which I could have done already if I had actually been paying enough attention to find, to find my missing pieces. Which is partially why we're in the Ashlands. There's also this small matter of the uh, artifacts here. As you can see, I'm still missing one. Which is also here. Now, I am missing two uh, Abyssal Armor pieces. And one I could have gotten all... Well, a long time ago, really. But we'll get to that when we get to that. For now, just focus on getting all the goodies from here. Which includes the Legion artifacts, the Abyssal Armor, and the uh, piece of the Armageddon Blade that we need. That should be grand. Now, this particular Legion artifact I could have gotten well before if I had been paying attention. Of course, now that I can actually see where it is, that this is a lot easier. Similarly for this particular chest, although, come on, to find it, you really have to be paying attention to things you can go to and places you can climb. Now, as for the Armageddon Blade, wish we could have gotten there, up there immediately, but have to take a bit of a detour. How do I get out of this place? It wears the stairs up. There it is. I have no idea where I'm jumping towards. There, I think this way. Just need to get enough height, I think. Get out of here. I felt like smashing stuff. Alright, this will do. Let's just get the Abyssal of uh, the Armageddon Blade. I can ride my horsey once again. I, I do need to have a bit of a running start. There it is. Now, this whole thing again is a bit of a Rube Goldberg machine of a contraption. I need to put a bomb on there and activate it. Now, where's the bomb? Probably hidden in the Shadow Realm. That's where I would hide it. See, there it is. Now 
and now I need to have the Boros Blade. And I should have cleared the way, I think. Right. Yeah, I'm not overly fond of the switching between the Shadow Realm and the Normal Realm. But, you know, it's a way to hide stuff in plain sight. At least nobody is here waiting for to fight me. Alright, one more piece to go. And I know exactly where that is. But uh, right now I'm just more interested in finding Vulcrim again, so... That's through here, I think. And let's turn off the Shadow Realm, because that music is a bit too eerie and not all that comfortable. Right, it's this way. Useful, please. Right, so handing in that last Legion artifact has given us exactly what we needed. And that's pretty much all it has given us. You are as wise as you are powerful. Right, and now to go over to Anvers Ford. I've gotten all the lifestone shards I can get, but not yet all the raft shards. And I think one of the raft shards is hidden here, if I looked it up correctly on the wiki. Thing is though, I have no idea exactly where it is. Let's see, does it show up on a map? Yes it does. Alright, so how do I get there? There it is. We have to do some more juggling. Now oh, come on. Well, at least I'm at full health. Alright, I can't... Quite get here. The way back better be easy. Now 
Now, luckily, we still need, need uh, <clears throat> luckily we still needed to go through the Anfield's Forge in order to get this one, but otherwise, I would never have figured that one out. What would you ask of this? Oh. Alright, let's just keep on going. Because I indeed need to go down into the Grievous Lair, although I thought I didn't need to anymore. Because that's where the final Abyssal Armor piece is. Well, final for me. I should have pick it, picked it up previously. But stupidly enough, this is not the first time I've missed that one. In previous runs through, I, I also missed that one for some reason. It's not even all that cleverly hidden. It's just there, and I just don't see it. Oh well. At least I know where it is. Because I did look it up before uh, coming here. But it does mean a detour. Hmm. Now it is sort of nice to just explore this world a bit. It's so nice and peaceful now that all the enemies are gone. Although it does also make it slightly boring. I can't really speed this up because I don't think dashing actually makes more, uh, getting around faster. This should just be a quick smash and grab. And then we'll be done with that. that I'm taking the right path. I mean, admittedly, it was my own fault for not checking properly. I mean, uh, I do have the Horde Seeker achievements, uh, artifact, so I should have been able to check this, but I guess I must have thought this was just a regular chest. But it is not. It is indeed. Abyssal armor completed. And now we just look colorless. But we are well protected, which is what I wanted. Now, ideally... You complete the Abyssal Armor set when you reach Eden. So it's just a little bit too late for the fight against yourself. But nevertheless, now I have it. It is indeed very useful. And I actually need to go up because... Well, in order to get back, I need to go high. I think. Then again, oh uh, no, I'm sort of right. Didn't need to go up per se, but... I 
did need to go this way. Now we can just leave. I was quit complaining. Right. And go through. I was also trying to, trying to look up the uh, Rav Core locations. I do know where one other one is, but I think that may not be enough. So I may have missed a chest somewhere, so I'll have to relook up and then try to remember where everything is. I could rewatch my own footage, but that would take forever. Much better than just narrow it down from memory. Because I'm sure some of you have been silently screaming at me for not picking up all those little bits while I was there. And then not commenting because, well, I do read all comments. Even the ones that tell me I'm bad. It's alright. I don't have an ego to bruise. I am just one more faceless YouTuber for you all to watch. Because I don't have a face cam, because why would I ever invest in that? I'm not made of money. Heck, if I even get to save any money, I'd have probably have to invest in either a new rig or upgrading my current uh, computer. Although upgrades really would consist of me just putting in some extra uh, SSDs. So I can make recording a little bit easier on myself. Alright, back to Vulgrim. I mean, we'll be coming back to Anvil's Fort soon enough. I have stuff to do still. Double check that it's actually here. Yep, there is a chest behind me. Admittedly, a very clever place to hide it. Alright, so I need one more shard. Not entirely sure where that could be. I'm gonna guess it's probably in some obvious place. I should have checked beforehand, but... Well, we're here now. Moving towards destiny. Whatever great plan I have. I mean, I don't even know if I have a great plan. I know who I have to kill. But that's, that doesn't necessarily make a great plan. What would you ask of this humble merchant? Well, nothing much, really. But in any case... <laughs> I will see you all next time.